no secret, Toronto has a huge housing crisis going on at this moment. Prices of homes are at all time highs. There is a shortage of housing in our province and something's gotta be done about it. And if you've ever wondered exactly what our city is doing to tackle these issues, then stay tuned, subscribe to the channel because that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Let's dive right in. What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt Moore, your local millennial realtor, real estate agent here in the greater Toronto area. And if this is your first time checking out a video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want more information and more content, real estate in the greater Toronto area. So breaking news, Premier Doug Ford has dropped a bombshell on February 22nd, announcing that our city is not just meeting, but exceeding its housing target. The initial goal was an ambitious 20,900 homes, new homes. And guess what? Toronto didn't just meet this expectation, we actually passed the expectation with a staggering 31,656 new construction starts last year, which is 51% above the original target. And the cherry on top? Toronto is actually set on receiving $114 million from the Ontario's Building Faster Fund, with $38 million as a bonus for surpassing our 2023 target. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. With this target, does it actually feel as though we built out that many homes considering the prices of housing? Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Are we building enough homes fast enough to actually meet and exceed the amount of immigration, the amount of new housing needed. What are your thoughts on this? Comment down below. Now, Mayor Olivia Chow at the forefront of this achievement expressed Toronto's commitment to building more affordable housing. Now, what's considered affordable these days? My definition of affordable and maybe the government's definition of affordable may be very different because I've seen new construction projects that have gone up on the market for sale and the plans for a lot of these new construction projects and them starting in the seven, $800,000 price range. With that being said, with today's interest rates, the mortgage payments for these affordable housing projects is astronomical. People simply cannot afford these affordable housing projects. In order for people to get to this level of affordability, we need to far exceed the housing demand. And the truth is there's only so much room in a city that's growing so rapidly. And one of the biggest setbacks is the approval times for construction, for new housing. So Mayor Olivia Chow has an ambitious plan to expedite approval times and construct 65,000 rental homes in the coming year. Well, Toronto is attempting to make waves. The Building Faster Fund becomes a crucial ally in achieving and surpassing these housing goals, providing essential infrastructure for thriving neighborhoods. We need to build houses faster. We need to move past the red tape that's being set in place for developers and construction companies. But I will say that the right moves were made in 2023 when it comes to what was expected versus what was done. Now let's dive into the heart of this victory, the Building Faster Fund. So launched in August last year with a staggering $1.2 billion, this three-year program aims to reward municipalities for building new homes. And that's exactly what we need. We need the municipalities to get on board and actually get the approval times going much faster than what they currently are. Toronto's windfall is part of the $400 million allocated annually to municipalities exceeding their yearly housing targets. Bonuses, right, like this $38 million that they received, is an incentive. You need to incentivize the people who are approving these housing projects and the timelines they take to get approved. So the $38 million Toronto is receiving, again, it acts as an incentive to push cities beyond their goals. The funds can be directed towards critical infrastructure and other costs for housing and community building projects. 
and I'm completely here for it. If we can get the needle moving much faster than what we currently are, this is going to help our overall real estate market come down in pricing or maybe even level out in pricing. There are so many people coming to Southern Ontario with not enough housing and therefore driving the price, driving the demand up. And this initiative is not just about the numbers. It's about creating homes and communities that stand the test of time. We're not just trying to build mishmash and have houses fall down, right? We still need to take the proper measurements to making sure that these homes are being built efficiently and structurally sound. And as we explore if we can build homes fast enough and the Building Faster Fund emerges really as a beacon, right? Supporting the city's vision for a flourishing and inclusive housing landscape because that's what we're ultimately looking to do here in Toronto. Now, with that being said, what does this actually mean for real estate investors? Now, while Toronto and Ontario are making strides in building more homes, the demand really still outpaces the supply. There's a huge gap that needs to be filled and needs to be filled quickly. The federal government's immigration target foresees 1.5 million newcomers to Canada in the next three years many choosing Ontario as their new home. A lot of newcomers are gravitating towards Southern Ontario, and that's really what's driving the price of housing up. So with that being said, are we building homes fast enough? And the answer is no. So forecasts suggest a drop in province-wide housing, which starts in the coming years, contributing to a very long supply and demand imbalance. This will translate into increasing property values, which is great news for investors that are already in the Toronto real estate market. So if you haven't invested in the highly sought after GTA condo market, that very well may be an option for you, especially if you're looking to just get in. Low supply and high demand creates a promising environment for your investments. That's just a general rule of thumb. It makes sense from a logical standpoint. Now in the quest to answer the question whether or not Toronto can build houses fast enough or faster at which the rate we are having people come into Southern Ontario, only time will tell. But with the Building Faster Fund and a commitment to affordable housing, maybe, just maybe, we can get there. These are most definitely the building blocks to our housing future. If you're interested in any investment opportunities in the GTA before we get to that point, go ahead and reach out to me. My contact information is down below. If you're planning on buying or selling um, anywhere within the GTA, I have a free relocation guide for you available for download. Go ahead and check that out. Well, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification bell so that you get notified every time I put out a new video just like this one. Again, my name is Matt Moore, your local millennial realtor here in the GTA and I will see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you got some value out of that video. If you did, then go ahead and check out this video here or here. I'm not quite sure where it's gonna be on the screen, but one of these videos, go ahead and check it out.